Hashimoto's thyroiditis is unique to each person. But doctors usually prescribe certain basic supplements for every newly diagnosed Hashimoto patient, so here is a list of 5 vitamins for hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. Stay tuned to Pars Health TV. Number 1. Vitamin D. This is at the top of my list for a good reason. Vitamin D is essential for supporting and maintaining a healthy immune system, so anyone with Hashimoto should take it. It is important for bone health, muscle function, cardiovascular function, circulation, respiration, and brain development, and it has anti-cancer properties. Why don't you like vitamin D? For most people, the dosage is low if they haven't supplemented yet, but before you start, ensure you're getting the right amount and getting to baseline. Be sure to monitor your levels closely with your doctor and adjust accordingly. Most people will benefit from about 5,000 IU daily taken with food for optimal absorption. Sometimes, 10,000 IU per day can be given depending on the severity of the deficiency. Interestingly, some symptoms of vitamin D deficiency include fatigue and depression. Deficiency can thus mimic or combine symptoms of thyroid disease. Number 2. Selenium. Selenium deficiency is less common than vitamin D deficiency, which is more common in people with digestive and absorption problems. Research suggests that selenium may be helpful in autoimmune thyroid disease. Selenium plays a vital role in regulating the immune system and may also support more efficient thyroid hormone synthesis. It also helps convert T4 to T3 and reduces antibodies that fight an overactive immune system. Supplements of 200 micrograms per day are most common, and no higher dose is needed. Brazil nuts are high in selenium, but selenium levels vary by crop, so it's better to get a higher consistency from supplements. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Number 3. Fish Oil this essential fatty acid supplement is critical because of its remarkable anti-inflammatory properties. Fighting an overactive immune system is necessary for people with Hashimoto's, and part of that is reducing inflammation with high-quality fish oil. Make sure you don't buy cheap brands, which may contain contaminants, and use them in therapeutically potent doses. Again, check with your doctor, but in most cases, 2,000 to 3,000 mg of fish oil is the amount needed to provide adequate anti-inflammatory effects and you want to make sure it's free of contaminants, and you're getting the highest quality. Number 4. Quality Multivitamin. A quality multivitamin helps maintain good health, and its benefits should not be underestimated. It is almost impossible to get all the vitamins and minerals our body needs on a daily basis, even if you are well versed in nutrition, cooking, and meal planning. Number 5. Probiotics. One of the best and fastest ways to heal your condition and support your immune system is to heal your gut lining first. Probiotics can go a long way here. Starting low and slowly increasing the CFU, colony forming units, is best. To get started, find the 10 billion CPI formula. You may also consider checking for bacterial, fungal, or other overgrowth and then replacing and rebalancing with good bacteria from a high-quality probiotic. If you suspect absorption problems, dysbiosis, or a very permeable gastrointestinal tract, intestinal permeability, your doctor may order a specialized stool test kit. But you don't have to wait for the test to start supporting your overall healthy gut lining and supporting your immune system with a high-quality probiotic. Select those that require cooling and offer a formula of 10 billion kVV. Your doctor can assess whether you are a candidate for further leaky gut tests based on your medical history and presentation. Should you take iodine for Hashimoto's disease? There is a lot of controversy in the alternative medicine community about the use of iodine. Iodine supplements should only be given if the patient has a true iodine deficiency that needs to be corrected. This is supported by studies showing that hypothyroidism and thyroid autoimmunity can actually be worsened by iodine supplementation. If you're concerned about how much iodine you're getting in your diet, you can use the food tracking app to track your intake over several weeks. 
If it turns out that the amount of iodine consumed in the diet is insufficient, you can start by increasing the consumption of iodine-containing foods. Magnesium also promotes the absorption of iodine in the body, so it is recommended to take a magnesium supplement. If you're still concerned about your iodine levels, ask your doctor for a 24-hour urine iodine to creatinine ratio test. This is the most accurate way to check iodine levels. Why are these supplements effective? These supplements can activate several potential mechanisms in your body to reduce Hashimoto's symptoms. Some of these include Increased antioxidants Reduces inflammation Reduces oxidative stress Regulate the immune system Increases thyroid cell signaling and hormone circulation It's also worth noting that many of these supplements simply replace nutrients the body needs to function which can be caused by dietary deficiencies, chronic stress, depletion of vitamins and minerals such as selenium and vitamin D, or are toxins and pollutants. More nutrients are needed in the daily environment to detoxify or prevent nutrients from being absorbed well. Therefore, patients with significantly low levels of selenium, iodine, zinc, or other nutrients, along with thyroid symptoms, often experience significant improvement simply by raising these levels to the optimal range. Another key component of any autoimmune disease is excessive inflammation, so reducing inflammation, similar to reducing oxidative stress and increasing antioxidants, will also positively affect symptoms. Many other very important supplements, such as antioxidants, digestive enzymes, and others, may be helpful for you, depending on your situation. Of course, there are other treatments, such as dietary changes and food sensitivity testing, that are also essential to an effective treatment plan for people with Hashimoto's. A knowledgeable practitioner can do a lot to dig deeper into your root cause and help you determine whether you have food sensitivities and or allergies, including gluten intolerance, or whether adding a detox regimen would be beneficial, especially if we believe you're primary due to exposure to toxins or a buildup of toxins in your glands. However, don't be overwhelmed by everything you read and hear about Hashimoto's treatment. Start with the basics and build from there. Share your ideas and experiences about this condition with us in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. And please share our videos with your friends to support our team. Looking for more amazing videos? Check out the videos popping up on the right and the left of your screen. Thank you, guys, for tuning in.